Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Adrian. So today's video is going to be all about my Big Chop hair and clip, it, clip in extensions and how I do a wash and go. I just recently did a video on how I installed them. So be sure to check the link, click the link right here to see how I installed these Big Chop clip in extensions. Now I want to show you guys the texture of the hair here. It's a very, very great texture and it matches my hair color and texture perfectly. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and section off my hair just like I would do um, any other time as that I worked in my hair in sections. So I wanna do the same thing with these clippings. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, I can't talk. I'm gonna just go ahead and divide my hair into four sections. So the first thing I need is some water. So I have a spray bottle here filled with water. So I'm gonna just go ahead and saturate this section of my hair with water so that for my hair can be easier to work with. Next we're going with this Paul Mitchell Round Trip Curl Definer. This stuff is bomb, bomb, bomb. It works great in my uh, natural hair by itself so I knew I had to use it on my Big Chop extensions. So I'm gonna just take that and um, just saturate this section of hair with the curl definer here and just make sure that I get my ends really, really well. After you do that, you're gonna go in with the Paul Mitchell Sculpting Foam. I just, I recently got this in my November curl box and oh my gosh, I was always against foams for wash and go until I met this Paul Mitchell wash and, this Paul Mitchell wash and go. This Paul Mitchell foam, oh my goodness, it's so good for my natural hair, I love it. So here I'm gonna just go ahead and saturate this section of hair with foam. I can't shingle my hair like I would like to or like detangle my hair like I would like to because of the clipping. So I just kinda just, you know, massage it through my hair so therefore the most can get on all of my um all of the strands so this is what it looks like after it's done and i went ahead and did the rest of my hair off camera so my whole head has products um all over it and this is what the hair looks like while it is wet Okay, so I went ahead and sat on the hair dryer for about 30 minutes, but my ends of my hair are still wet. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, blow dryer and a diffuser attachment. I have no idea where this blow dryer came from. It's really, really old, probably a Con Air or something I got from Walmart or Sally. So I'm gonna just go ahead and diffuse my ends of my hair um, and also make sure that my hair is fully dried. All right, so my hair is fully dried here and this is what it looks like. I did my hair on a um, at nighttime, so I slept with my hair overnight before I went ahead and styled it the next day. But that's my hair looks like at, while it's dry. So, before I go to bed, um, my hair is too long to fit inside of a bonnet. So I went ahead and used a satin scarf, and I just applied this around my forehead. Um, I, I did it in triangle first, then I did it around uh, my forehead, and then I pushed it back, and that's how I slept with my hair last night. So this is the next day. All I'm gonna do is just go ahead and move it, uh, take it off, take the scarf off. So this is how my hair looks. I just, you know, kind of give my hair a shake and kind of separate my curls a little bit um, because they did clump because of the products. So I'm gonna take some Eco Styler Gel here and just lay down my edges so that they can be snatched. Then I'm gonna take a pick and I'm gonna just ever so lightly and gently just kind of fluff my roots just a little bit um, without trying to um, mess with the clips that are on my scalp. So then I took my Q-Redo hair steamer and I'm gonna just take, place this in my, um, around my scalp just to give my hair some volume. I don't like flat hair, I like big hair. And usually first day hair, I usually don't get big hair. So this Q-Redo steamer helps me get my hair to kind of fluff out a little bit more. So after I went ahead and steamed my hair, um, this is what it looks like. It's, I love, love, love these clip-ins. I get so many compliments on my hair when I wear these clip-ins people think that this is really my hair so I highly recommend the Big Chop clip-in hair extensions and this is how I did my wash and go if you enjoyed it please be sure to give me a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video Mwah. bye